Hey everyone, I'm Aria and welcome to the first edition of What's Cooking Kids. Today we have a very yummy show to share with you today and two awesome cooking companions who are going to share with us their amazing recipes so you better keep your pen and paper ready. Absolutely Aria and I can't wait to see what's cooking, especially the taste testing. Definitely, that's going to be the best bit. So let's introduce today's team. I'm Bowden. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm Zach. And I'm Muni, and we're really pleased to welcome our special culinary experts today, Nellie Carrison, founder of the Relish Mama Cooking School, which happens to be where we are right now. Hi Nellie. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Nellie. Hi Nellie. Hi. And we are also very thrilled to have TV food stylist and author of The Kitchen Therapist, Joe Richardson. Hi everyone. Hey Joe. Hi. He's in here. Totally. Thank you. Isn't this exciting to be here for the first filming of What's Cooking Kids. Oh, I know. I loved being with you doing the radio edition. It was such fun, wasn't it, girls? It was, it was amazing. amazing. Yeah. And if you want to check out the podcast, just go to our What's Cooking page on the website, primaryperspectives.info. And we had so much fun with Joe in the kitchen on our radio show, Primary Perspectives, that we thought we'd have even more fun by bringing What's Cooking Kids to TV. And here we are. So what are you whipping up for us today, Nelly? I'm making a birch and muesli with you all, which is a great start to the day. Yeah. We can have it for breakfast, lunch mm. or dinner. Um, mm. After school snack is fantastic. And we're also going to make the perfect omelette. Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, you're killing me, Joe. You're so do you mind, guys, if I leave you in Nellie's beautiful, capable culinary hands mm. and zip off to the market and grab some good avocados? Go sure. ahead. Sure. Yeah. See, See you, you later. Bye. 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 See you soon. This is a great quick and easy breakfast. Really important to set yourself up with a few shortcuts during the week. We're all so busy. I've got three daughters and we have a very, very busy family um, and life after school. So I make this dish every Sunday religiously with my girls. It sets us up for early in the week. We've got a few great breakfasts. It'll probably last us a few days, so we might get going. You have to soak the oats overnight. That is the only thing. So that's what we do on the Sunday is we actually soak the oats. The rest of that is really, really quick and easy. So Hannah, I might get you to pour the... Um, we've got two cups of oats in the, in the bowl. I might get you to add the apple juice. You could use freshly squeezed pear juice as well. So what equipment do we need to make this? Oh, that's where it's so good. You don't need anything really. You just need a bowl and a spoon. So we'll give that a good mix, and then this is the one that we have already done. So we will add the yogurt to this dish. Okay, just, so we've got some natural full fat yogurt. So that we'll, yeah, great. Lovely. So what Hannah's got now is the one that we would put in the fridge overnight. Mm. And that's what I do with my girls. They pretty much do it by themselves now. Lovely. So you give that a good stir. So why are oats so great for us? Oats are a natural superfood, which sounds pretty fancy, doesn't it? It does. Mm. Yeah. They give slow release energy. They are a whole grain and they are full of vitamins and minerals. Wow, that's great. So to add some protein, I have got some nuts. Can you smell how nice these are? Mm -hmm. They smell so beautifully because I have increased the flavour by toasting them in the pan. Just a really low heat, dry frying pan, mm -hmm. and don't go too far because they can burn quite quickly. Oh, yeah. And you can use whichever nuts you like. We have got some walnuts and we've got some shaved almonds and some whole natural almonds. Mm. What are some important nutritional tips for making a healthy breakfast? Whole grain is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, slow release is great because that will keep us full up for longer and that's where oats are wonderful and protein as well. So we've got our protein from our nuts and we've got our whole grains from our oats. So this is the complete breakfast. So we're ready now. That looks fantastic. That is all we need except for the grated pear. So we oh. need some grated pear. Grate some pear over there. Use the, um, the larger blade on the grater. Mm -hmm. So we have got uh, beer boss pears but you can use whichever pears you like. You could add apples, you could use uh, matchstick apples if you wanted to. You didn't have to use a grater if you don't have one. So it's really, really versatile. So we can mix this up with the seasons. We can change this recipe with the seasons. We're using fresh berries today, but you yeah. could use some beautiful stewed rhubarb would be lovely. Fresh fruit salad would be a really lovely topping as well. So we're going to cut up the strawberries, mm -hmm. do we? We do. So we'll just take a few of the strawberries and if you hold them by taking the tops off, so just the green top we want to get rid of, and I would cut that off as probably quicker, so then we can get rid of the little root tip there. So how long will the muesli last for? 
with my family, not very long actually, <laughs> but I make a double batch on the weekend and it will easily last us about three days. Each time you want to help yourself to some more, just give it a good mix up with a spoon to get that pear through it again. So I might start dishing up as soon as we've got some of that pear in. I might pass that down for Brody to add the pear. How are you going, Brody? Still got your fingers? Yeah, good. <laughs> So the pear would discolour, but because we've got the juice in there, that will stop it discolouring and making sure we give it a good mix. That looks beautiful. So we're ready to dish this up now. That was really quick. Thanks, Hannah. Okay, so straight onto a dish. We might just do one now. Obviously, we would have a lot more than this serving in our house for breakfast. We'll add some strawberries on top. We might add some blueberries. They're full of antioxidants. And They're some, super yeah, foods too. They are a super food. Fantastic. Well done. Delish. So there we have it. How's that team? We have created a beautiful breakfast that will set us up perfectly for the day ahead. It only took five minutes. In mm. fact, we did <laughs> so well. Enjoy. Good, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. I've got the crew from What's Cooking Kids who I'd love you to meet. Come on in, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, Amanda. Good, Good. How, are you? how are you? So, what are you doing here? So, we're going to be planting a Green Smart Pot with some seeds today. Cool. So, what is a Green Smart Pot? A Green Smart Pot is an organic self watering pot. So, that's really cool. How does that work? So, the, the unique part about this pot is we've got a wick system. So when the plant actually drinks the water, it draws the right amount of water that it actually needs. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Isn't it? So can we have a go at planting our herbs? Sure. But where are the seeds? Whoops! I forgot the seeds. That's okay, guys. We're really close to a nursery. So how about I take you, Zach and Hannah? Would you like to come shopping with me, and we'll go get some herbs and veggies to plant? That yeah, would be sure. great. Fantastic. Guys. Awesome. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right, let's get going. Here are some gloves for you. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so cut the bag open, cut the bag open. Gotta get it like this. Okay, so what I'll probably say is if we just get a little bit of the yeah, little bit of kidney I had, just thought we hook that in so we get some soil and we start planting. So we just make sure that we get it nice and tight into these wicks right here. So that enables the plant to actually draw up the water through the wicks. Okay, so yeah, that's perfect. So you pat it down nice and tight. Okay. So healthy soil equals healthy plants. Equals healthy people. Well done guys, you've got it. Hey guys, we're back. Oh, hey guys. Hey. That looks like a great pot for these little guys to get growing in. Sure does, absolutely. We've got some great herbs. We've got some uh, garden thyme, Italian parsley, and I've got chives. So these will go beautifully with as a garnish for most dishes and to add flavour. And they'll be great for our omelette that we're going to cook today. That looks mm. great, guys. So what I was thinking, perhaps if you guys wanted to have a go and actually plant them yourselves. So I'll give you one glove. And you have a tube one, and then I'll just move back out of the way. And if you guys want to have a little plant, that'd be great just to get you started. That's great, guys. That's perfect. That's the chives done. So now we've got to actually put some water into, now that we've planted our, our plants, yep. now it's time to put some water into our plants okay so what yep. we need to do into our pot so what we need to do is this is our clear indicator here yep. so we need to get this water in can and we need to actually fill up the water with it, the water into the uh, into the clear indicator so just see if you can fill it up to the max level yep. that would be great thanks Ooh, this is heavy yeah do you want a hand are you right i got it good job that's perfect so that's exactly how you fill your water up with your green smart pot yeah okay Hey Broden, how about we pick some lovely herbs for our omelette and head back to the kitchen? Sure. Fantastic. Enjoy cooking, guys. Thanks, Bye. Amanda. Bye.
That was oh, awesome. Man. That was great. We learned so much about the Green Smart pots. I'm so yeah, impressed. Yeah. Yeah, we planted yeah. some awesome herbs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Who's ready to cook their omelette? Me. Yes. Great. Let's go. Oh.